Good morning! Welcome to the fourth and last week of the ultimate reading competition! Was this too much energy? I think I was trying to compensate for the low energy I had in the beginning of the previous week. Welcome! This is the fourth and last week of this competition. I'm starting this week with the total of 1,523 pages. My challenge for today, in case you don't remember, it's not that one, it's this one. It's read a chapter out loud. It's now quarter past 12 in the afternoon, so quarter past noon, lunchtime, whatever you want to call it. And I haven't done anything yet today besides walking Suki and getting ready. And now let me show you something very interesting. You all know what's been going on with the supermarket and all this virus and all the panic in general in the world and in the UK in specific. So I was trying to get into my online supermarket, Okado, to place an order and they've been closed okay going back a few days they closed their app the other day because they were getting too many requests and they were not able to handle it so they closed the app and they were working with the website only then still there were so many people on their website that they closed the website for four or five days i believe like for the entire country right and they reopened it on saturday on Saturday and Sunday, it was impossible to get in the website because obviously everyone was just spending their weekend trying. So I thought today, it's Monday, most people are back to work or working at home or whatever, but I thought most people were going to be busy, right? So here I was thinking, oh, it's a good day today, let's go get some groceries. The delivery time is probably like four months waiting, so I'm going to get it now. Then we use the things we have at home and then I'll get it delivered, right? Ah, good thinking. It's whatever probably everyone's thinking. So here I go. I logged into the website and this is what I found. You are in a virtual queue. You are position 1040 out of 5000 and what? I just got up. 5145 people. Your wait time is about 30 minutes. When I first logged in and my little van was all the way to the beginning, it said my wait time was about 2 minutes hours people there is 5000 people over 5000 people trying to get in the website if this is not crazy i don't know what it is there's 5000 people trying to get into the damn website so here i am just in front of my computer waiting for my little van to move so hopefully i can get in and do my shopping and discover when can i get it delivered make your bets down there in the comments right now is it gonna be before or after august what do you think while i wait i'm gonna just stay here in the computer and do stuff in the computer keeping this window open because i do not want to miss my chance once i get in yeah that's it then i'll do my grocery and then after that i can finally move on with my day and get away from the computer for now i'm just gonna stay here and i'll talk to you later on bye 22 we're almost there 22 oh my god this is the face of disappointment after waiting all this time and putting all this energy and good vibes towards getting in the grocery shopping website i finally got in my little green van finally moved to the end of the bar i got in and only to face this message in a big yellow square saying sorry we're not currently taking any orders People, people, could you not have put that information in the waiting screen instead of inside? Because, you know, there's 5,000 people waiting to get in, from which I bet 4,900 are trying to place an order. So you're just wasting everyone's time and you're just making your website have so much traffic when that is not necessary. You could just put that information in the waiting page saying you're not taking orders, you're just allowing people to edit their orders and then people who just leave the website, you know. Why is it so difficult to do groceries in the UK? What is wrong with British people? Why, why is everyone being so dramatic regarding groceries for the last like three weeks? Calm down, people. The food is not going to end. Let's just all take a step back. And... It has arrived. This is, I think, a package with the chapterized book of April. Let's have a look. It is, yeah. So here's the thing. 
when I went to order the books for April, I wanted to order them from Amazon. However, Amazon didn't have enough, didn't have all the ones I needed. So I ordered some from Amazon and some from Waterstones. And then for some reason, the Amazon ones were not dispatched all at the same time. So in here, I have two books instead of five or something that I ordered from Amazon. I don't know why they did that. Maybe they ran out of stock, but I have two, which means at least I can start dividing the chapters and it all, it is all very excited and I cannot wait to grab it and look at this beautiful cover. Ah! And now I'm going to wash my hands. <clears throat> One day earlier, New Year's Day 2019, Katie. Did I really envy her that much? Yes, a little voice says, maybe I did. Hello, it's the end of second day the first day the first day it's only been one day oh who would have known i'm all messed up with the days already i just finished editing the vlog from week three and i really want to go to bed because disney plus is here but before i need to get my challenge for tomorrow so let's see what is happening tomorrow i don't want to lose much time here because i really want to go and explore the joys and the nice things disney plus has to offer us Tomorrow it says, read at least 10 minutes before sleeping. So not bad at all, it's fine, we can do it, we're gonna survive this challenge. And tomorrow I might start a new book because I finished one today, I also finished Lullaby. I don't know, I need to look at my list, I'll talk to you tomorrow because now I really wanna go. Bye! I believe this is the first update I'm doing today, I don't remember doing any updates. I still haven't count how many pages I read today, although it was only the chapterized book, I didn't read anything else. And now it's like 7 p.m. I'm in the sofa with Chucky. I'm gonna watch Star Girl on Disney Plus. I started watching this last night in bed on my phone, but I've only watched around 20 minutes and then I fell asleep. I'm gonna watch a little bit of it, probably not the whole thing. I'm gonna eat some leftover pizza and then I have some things that I need to do, including reading, but now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat and watch this and I'll talk to you later. Our vlogs for the third week are live! It's 10 to 11 p.m. and we just published our vlogs for the third week. So it is now time for me to watch Philippa's video! Oh my god! I cannot wait to find out who is winning. I'm gonna put my camera on the tripod, set it up here and record my reaction like I did on week one because I thought that was cool. So I'm gonna do it again. So give me a few minutes and then we're gonna start watching it. All right, let's go watch Philippa's video. Her video has one hour, so I'm gonna watch it as I usually do, which is on two times speed. Last time I managed to watch it at normal speed because it would be easier than to record my reaction and all that. But you know, I can't. So let's just do two times speed and that's it. And oh my God, let's go. <laughs> I love that when she had the challenge of finishing a whole book, like finishing a book, she was not near finishing any book. So she was thinking that maybe she could do that with Lullaby, which was the same thing that I thought. <laughs> she also started watching Anne with an E. <laughs> I also started watching this last week, but she said she cried a bunch on the first episode. Why, Philippa? Please let me know what in it made you cry, because to me, it didn't make me cry. Like, I loved it. And it was very entertaining, but it didn't touch my feels. I don't know, but I'm curious, so let me know. I can't believe she actually read the Dino Erotica <laughs> ebook. <laughs> I have it on my email because Kurina sent it to all of us, but I haven't read it yet. But I also remember that when I got the challenge of finishing an entire book, I was like, oh, I could just do that one. But then I, for some reason, I forget it. Like when I actually go to try and do the challenge, I forget about that one. But I remember it when I first get the challenge. She used her first help, finally. <laughs> oh, she recorded the reaction to the video I made with you guys. Wishing her happy birthday on her birthday, obviously. She recorded the reaction to that video and she got all emotional. And I was watching her reacting to that video and getting emotional. And I was getting emotional as well. <laughs> Look, I could feel 
the tears start coming to me as well. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Philippa, I need to buy the essential goods. Bread. <laughs> did she did better than I did in this third week? I'm halfway through the vlog now. Oh my god, I'm loving this vlog. Her smoke detector started going off and I thought for a second that it was mine and I was like, what's happening? <laughs> she read 178 pages in one single day. Have I ever read that much? Besides the day where I finished the whole book. Okay, I have. So on the first day ever I read 288, another day I read 253. But then that's it. 178 is a lot. <laughs> She's gonna kick me in the bum! <laughs> She has 1,495. Oh my god, there's like 30 pages between us. There's like 30 or 40 pages between us. Oh my god, no! I'm not happy. I love the vlog, but now I'm not happy. I come with bad news. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. And apparently, she has told me that when she got the challenge of reading standing up in the first week. She read seven pages on that day, but she didn't read them standing up, so she lost the 20 points, but she also didn't count those seven pages towards her total, as in, if you don't complete the challenge, you cannot count those pages in this challenge, like if you deliberately failed the challenges. You know what I mean? Like, not that you failed the challenge because you didn't manage to achieve it, but because you did something else. So we cannot count the total of pages. <laughs> Which means I need to deduct the number of pages I read on that day. <laughs> Which was so much and I was so happy. It was 109 pages that I'm just gonna lose. It gave me, again, a fun result after the third week. But let, hold on a second. How many did she made at the end? She finished her week with 1,495. And now my updated result is the cute result of 14, 14. So 1,414, which means that she's winning. She's 81 pages in front of me. <laughs> No! And now she's home because the bookstores are finally closed and she's just gonna read so much. Oh my god, it's not possible. Oh my god, I cannot believe I'm gonna lose so close to the end. I can't, I can't. Okay, this has to inspire me to read as much as I can, even though today I haven't read anything. Oh my god, this is not possible. Okay, let's all just take a moment and calm down and let's get a challenge for tomorrow. Tomorrow the challenge is gonna be... Oh, I ripped it. <laughs> I ripped the paper. That piece of paper didn't have anything. Is this a blank paper? <laughs> Alright, this is a blank paper. It's the last one we were missing because there's five of them. This was the fifth one. Which means from here onwards, there's always going to be a challenge. And I'm scared. We're going to do it. And Manganette is going to come for the win. I'll see you tomorrow after... I readjust myself after these last minute changes. I can't believe I lost 109 pages. Hello, good morning or good afternoon, everyone. I just realized that I haven't been updating you on how many pages I've been reading. I also haven't been writing them in here on my bullet journal tracker for the pages, but I've been keeping count on my phone, obviously, because otherwise I will forget. So now I'm going to quickly update the first two days of this last week. On Monday the 23rd, I read the two last final reading points of The Hunting Party. It was supposed to be one on the 23rd and one on the 24th, but I couldn't resist and I just read them all. So those two marks that we had set gave me a total of 79 pages for Monday and that was all that I read that day. Yesterday, Tuesday, I was reading this one. However, I'm not being able to make a good progress in this one just because it's written in Portuguese and I'm really not feeling reading things in Portuguese. But I'm really enjoying the story and I want to carry on reading. So what I did was that I kept reading on my e-reader and obviously here I have the English version. It's the same book. So I started where I was, which was on chapter 8 and I just kept reading yesterday in here. And because I'm reading it now, now I'm taking into consideration the pages 
of the English version that I checked and has like minus 100 pages than the Portuguese one. So uh, meaning that for reading in, in English, I won't be able to read as many pages, but oh well, at least I can read it faster. So yesterday, this was as well the only book that I read and I read a total of 51 pages. So not great, but you know, I thought I read more actually. Yesterday, I also completed my challenge for the day, which was to read 10 minutes before sleeping. I did that in bed. And today I have no challenge, it's the last blank paper that I'm getting and I'm just gonna go on the sofa right now, I have a few other things to do around the house but I don't care because now I'm getting scared that Felipe is gonna actually win this competition. So I'm gonna get on the sofa right now after I finish this and I'm gonna carry on reading Landline and I'm gonna finish the book, I'm halfway through, I'm gonna finish the book today. Felipe, just you wait and watch me finishing a book today. Bye. I only have five minutes. This is 10. I only have five minutes to record this clip before my live show with a bunch of booktubers start. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm already, I have my headphone set up. I set up my webcam. I have the book that I'm going to be reading. And why am I going to be reading this? You may ask. Because I finished. Hold on. I don't have my reader here, but I have this one. I finished this book. I finished it earlier. I'm now proud to announce that this book is my first five star of the year. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So what's gonna be happening is that I'm gonna be taking this challenge for tomorrow now because the live show is gonna start at 11 p.m. and it's gonna last possibly over an hour. So I'm just gonna get it now so it's done and I know what I can count on with if I can ever open this. All right, let's go. Let's go. Blank? Ah, oh, okay. I was thinking, I think I already had five blanks. What is this? No! Maximum 50 pages! No! I really wanted to read! I really wanted to read! Maybe I'll send it to Philippe, but no, I can't. I already sent it one. I already gave her a challenge. No! Oh my god, I'm not happy with this. I'm not happy. Anyway, I'm gonna finalize the last touches for the live show. And I'm so excited! I'll come back after we're done or tomorrow or something to let you know how it went. And yeah, that's it. Maybe I'll record a few clips while it's happening. I don't know. I don't know. I might be very nervous when it's happening. I don't know. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye! Hello and welcome to the first update of today because I was too lazy to do an update earlier on. It is now 9 p.m. and I just completed my challenge for today which was not something that required completion but basically I could only read the maximum of 50 pages so I just read 50 pages and it's really annoying because I really really want to keep reading it. I'm reading The Girl Who Came Out of the Woods. I started reading this last night during the live show I did with the other booktubers and oh my god people last night when i first started i was like oh i'm not sure if this is for me i'm not sure if it's captivating i'm not even sure if i was understanding the story but then i ended up getting really into it during my reading during the live and today i just read another 50 pages i'm now like halfway through just shy of halfway yeah just shy of halfway and I really want to keep reading it. I really want to keep reading it. So I hope that tomorrow I get a challenge that allows me to keep reading it because I must. I must. It's really intriguing. It's set in India. I've never read a book set in India before. And it's about this girl. Like she had a community with lots of people. Like there were like 15 of them or something. And then there's some disease and they all start dying. And her mom sends her and her younger brother or something out of the woods to go and try getting some help, some doctors and an ambulance and whatever. And then she gets out of the woods for the first time in her life, she's 17, and then they obviously, she's never seen a car, she's never seen a phone, she's never seen anything, she's never been outside the woods, right? So everything is just really shocking for her and she's very unprepared. She has to ask strangers to help her and to explain her how things work. She's helped by a taxi driver, she's taken to the hospital, and then her younger brother gets taken away from her he gets put into a foster system and he gets adopted and she tries and go with him but she's not allowed to and it's a bit heartbreaking when they're saying goodbye and so now she's trying to make her way back to him because he was taken to France. And then there's another timeline here where the girl is 
trying to escape from somewhere like she's in a basement or something and it hasn't yet been revealed where she is or what happened or like how far into the future that timeline is so it's just very mysterious how you pass from one timeline to the other and i'm just very curious and it's very easy to follow the timelines because the timeline of when she first gets to the city and all that the chapters are numbered with numbers and the other one where she's trying to escape from somewhere they are numbered with the months so it will go like chapter one two three and then may and then four five six june you know what i mean so you can easily see which timeline you're reading which makes it really easy to follow the story it doesn't make it confusing at all obviously it's a bit confusing because you don't have many details but at least you know which timeline you're reading and i'm really enjoying this read and i really want to keep reading i can only read the 50 pages today so now given that i cannot read anymore unfortunately i'm gonna work on the chapterized stuff i keep saying i want to work on it and get it ready but i haven't done it yet so i'm gonna prepare the wrapping paper i'm gonna divide the chapters and see what we're doing in each uh, day how many pages we're reading on all that and I'm going to finalize my bookmark because that's where I write the dates for each chapter. So I'm going to finalize that. I already did the design, but I need obviously to put the information in there, get everything ready to print. And then I'll probably just print it tomorrow or something. Basically today I'll get everything ready and then tomorrow I'll keep going. I don't know. I'll see how I feel. But yeah, I'll probably do that. Oh, yesterday. Yesterday I had such a productive reading day. So I read a hundred and something pages of landline from whatever i was until the end and then i also read like 110 of this one and that gave me the total for the whole day of 234 i believe that was the number but i'm gonna double check on my phone before writing it down but i think it was around 234 pages oh my god philippa i'm coming for you how you doing i just got in bed and i realized i forgot to take my challenge for tomorrow so I got out of bed just to come here and get the damn challenge. We're finishing. Look at how empty this is. Oh my god. I'm gonna look at the colors. I don't want to be influenced in that. Not that at this point I remember anything anymore. Upside down. Read one to ten chapters at random. All right. Good. Good. That's good. I hope I'm gonna ask Google to tell me a number between one and ten, and that will be the number of chapters I need to read. Hey Google, pick a number between 1 and 10. Oh. 4. So I need to read 4 chapters. Now, does this mean I can only read 4 chapters or I can read more than 4 chapters? I need to ask Philippa what she thinks without spoiling how many chapters I got. And today my challenge was to read maximum 50 pages. I did that. I read exactly 50 pages. I haven't updated my bullet journal yet, my tracker, but I have everything on my phone. So worry not. We're gonna do that tomorrow and yeah i'm gonna go back to bed tomorrow is saturday no no tomorrow is friday yeah tomorrow is friday okay never mind yeah i'm gonna go to bed because clearly i need to sleep bye good morning vietnam apparently that was the thing that i was trying to say last week was not america was vietnam <laughs> I'm in bed, it's 10 a.m. I woke up like an hour ago and I've just been scrolling endlessly on Instagram. But now that I'm done with that, I've decided to go grab my book, The Girl Who Came Out of the Woods, and I'm gonna read a little bit. So yesterday I did the random, the number of chapters I need to read today, and it was four. And then I asked Philippa if it meant I could only read four or if it was at least four. And she agreed because it was not very specific on what the rule was. This is the kind of things that we need to make very clear for when we organize the ones for everyone. As she said, because the challenge itself was not that clear for me to do whatever I wanted, so I'm gonna do the challenge as read at least four chapters and then if I want to read more, I can. If not, the, cha the challenge will be completed if I do at least four chapters. So I'm not now gonna see until where do I have to read. Four chapters is like... 10 pages if so it's from 164 to 186 so 20 pages <laughs> which makes me think that will be fine i'll manage to read this during the whole day i'm gonna read now for a bit then maybe i'll fall asleep who knows i don't for sure but i'll talk to you later when i have some more updates and yeah bye i read all the way until page 249 i read all this that's where i am at the moment only a tiny bit left but i'm getting really tired of reading i've been reading for like an hour and a half or so so maybe i'm gonna close my eyes for a minute 
I don't know, I'm also quite hungry, so I'm gonna go get some food. But I'm also very sleepy, so maybe I'll do a little nap and then I'll get up and get some food. I don't know. I don't know, I'll talk to you later. Bye! I'm officially the laziest person ever, and anyone who tries to deny it is lying, and it's wrong, because... I'm still in bed, it's 1pm now, I haven't read since I stopped reading, when I told them that I might take a nap. I haven't taken a nap. I watched Kayla's video, and Philippa's fairy loot unboxing. I'm starving. I got out of bed, so I'm winning already. I put on one of my favorite t-shirts that says nope. And now I'm gonna get some bread toasting because I'm hungry and I'm also very lazy to cook. my cheese toast I have my coffee I make coffee with milk because you know I hate coffee so whenever I need to wake up not that I'm tired because you know I've been in bed until now but whenever I want to drink some coffee to just help me start the day I always need to make it with milk so I put a little bit of milk in a mug I put a spoon of coffee two not so full spoons of sugar so I would say like one very full spoon of sugar probably uh, I mix it up, I warm it up in the microwave, just like 40 seconds or something, I stir it again and then I top up with more cold milk. So at the end it's like this coffee made with milk and it's cold instead of warm and that's the only way I can drink coffee. So now I'm gonna eat that with my toasty and I'm gonna watch maybe a little bit more or an entire episode, I don't know, I'll see how I feel. But I'm gonna watch a little bit of Anne with an E. I think I'm on episode 5 or 6, I'm not sure, something like that. I was watching some last night while I was preparing some things for a chapter eyes. I just set up the table here in front of the TV and I was watching that. So I'm gonna carry on and that's it. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. I finished the book! <laughs> I finished this book and this book is so good. It's about this... Indian girl who lives in the floor in the forest who lives in the forest with her family but then the family gets sick and she is sent with her younger brother away to the city to find doctors to find help and she ends up in Mumbai but she doesn't know anything about the world so she needs to trust strangers but she doesn't know if the strangers are actually trying to help her or taking advantage of her and you can see how naive she is and all that and then it, there's the two timelines that I told you about and there's just such a big twist like you think you're reading about something and then you're reading about something completely different and oh my god in a way i kind of want to give this book a five stars because it was very good but i don't know for the last half an hour or so since i finished the book I, i'm just sitting there thinking yes it was really good and yes i recommend it and i'm i was completely surprised by this book because i didn't didn't even know what this was about but is this a five star as an is this one of my favorite books? And then I started questioning the same about Landline. I said the other day that I was giving Landline a five star, but now I'm questioning the same, as in, did it become one of my favorite books? I don't think it did. Yes, I really enjoyed it, but I don't think it's one of my favorite books. And between this one and Landline, which one did I like the most? Probably this one, because this one was more mysterious, was more, more my kind of thing. But at the same time, Landline is about this romantic relationship between a wife and her husband and it's the kind of relationship that I like to read in a book or watch a movie about is like the true life relationship the actual life like the things that actually happen and life getting in between and the messiness instead of all the cliches and all those things you know what I mean yes I really like both of these books but are they a five stars they are definitely four and a half I'm between four and a half and five right I just don't know if I should round it up to five or leave it at a four. So now I'm like trying to compare it with other books that I gave five stars to last year and I'm thinking did I like this the same amount of those? I really don't know. I'm gonna update my page tracker. I need to put here the pages of yesterday and the pages of today and maybe the pages of the day before. I don't remember. I have all that on my phone. I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back and I'll tell you how many pages I read in each day but oh my god there's so many of them. I'm so happy. I'm back. So 
I had to update the three last days, which were the day 25, 26 and 27, that is today. So on the 25th, I read 234 pages. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Then on the 26th, yesterday, I read 50 because that was my maximum for the day for my challenge. Read maximum of 50 pages. I did that. So it was my total for the day. And today, the 27th, my challenge was to read at least four chapters. Obviously, I did that. And today, I read 226 pages. Oh my god, this week is going so great. Guys, guys, guys. If I manage to read like this for the duration of this entire challenge, instead of only now in the last week, Philippa would have no chance. But because I'm only doing this in the last week and I have no clue what she's doing, I don't even know if this is enough. Also, I've decided I'm, I'm going to give both these books, Landline and The Girl Who Came Out of the Woods, I'm going to give both of them five stars. Because, yes, they might not become my favorite book of all time or like the book of my life. They won't, quite probably. But I still really enjoyed the story both of them contain and... Just on this one, I enjoyed the mystery. On the other one, I enjoyed how the relationship was so real and so something that we could all experience. And it's still a bit cheesy, but not too much. And it was just, it felt real to me. So both of these books, they really excited me and they really made me want to read. As you can see, I read so many pages in these days when I've been reading these books. And I think that's what a good book is about. It's the feelings that it gives in us, regardless if it's well written or if it's a brilliant story or not. I think it's more about what implications we feel when we read them. And so I've decided to rate them both a five star. They're not brilliant. They're not, they're not the best books ever written, but they both made me happy on reading them. And so I, I'm going to give them five stars and it's my rating. So I do whatever I want. Now it's time to get the challenge for tomorrow. Look how many there is. It's nearly empty. I know, I say this every day. I need to stop saying this. Okay, I'm holding my phone with my hand because I don't have anywhere to put it now. And I don't have my tripod here. And oh my God, I can really open this with just one hand. So let's do like this. I'm going to take one out. Ta-da. All right, it kind of works. So... Let's see. Oh, my hands are so dry. Okay. Also, I did my nails today. My previous polish was still fine, but you could really see the growth of my nails because my nails grow so fast. So I decided to paint them again. And because I'm not working, and apparently I'm not going to be working for any time soon, I decided to use this color that I bought a few months ago and I never got to wear it because I'm not allowed this kind of colors while I'm working because it's not uniform standards. But, but... Here's a little bit of random information, as usual. Before I started the job of flight attendant, years ago, this was one of my favorite colors to wear in the summer. It's like coral, but like bright coral. I used to wear it all the time. It was one of my favorites. And then, fast forward many years, I haven't worn it in years because I can't. So a couple of months ago, I saw it on Amazon on the brand of gel polishes that I always buy. I saw it there and I was like, oh my God, I need to buy it. But I hadn't had an opportunity to wear it yet. And I bought this in like August last year. So today I was like, oh my God, I'm going to do my nails and I'm going to wear that nail polish. Anyway, let's move on. Read at least 10 minutes before... Before sleeping. Easy. Woohoo! I like easy challenges that allow me to read as much as I want during the day because Philippa, I've told you this, I'm coming for you. I don't know what you're doing, girl, but I'm coming for you and I'm coming in strong. Tomorrow I'm going to be starting a new book. I need to look at this list and decide what is calling me the most, but most likely, it can change tomorrow, it will all depend, but most likely I will be picking anatomy of a scandal because i feel like i want to keep this rhythm of reading like 200 something pages a day and for that i need something mysterious like a thriller uh, so yeah most likely i will pick up that one because it's a thriller and let's see what happens but i might change my mind tomorrow and i feel like reading something else but i'll keep you posted i'll talk to you tomorrow and i'm super happy because end of march and i was finally able to rate no one but two books five stars and i'm coming for you philippa i'm not exaggerating when i say the first week was the only week where i was able to vlog in 
a normal and enjoyable amount because on the second week okay not so bad but i barely did any reading so there was not nothing to vlog and then on the third week things started going down the drain and my vlogging skills were non-existent but on this last week guys i don't even know how to explain i've been reading and i like to believe that because I've been reading, I've been busy, and it's better to read and kick Philippa's ass than vlogging a lot. I'm now getting ready to do my monthly live show of Chapter Eyes. I'm so excited. This is the first month. It was the book for March, which was The Hunting Party by Lucy Foley. Foley. I don't know. This book was the selection for March. And now me and the Chapter Eyes members of March are going to go live on YouTube on my channel. And we're just going to discuss the book with and without spoilers and also talk about the experience of being part of chapter eyes and what everybody thought and the read along how it worked what can be improved all those things so it's the first time i'm doing a live show with so many people on my channel i'm not even sure how this is gonna work i think i'm gonna try and use zoom which was the one we used the the other day when we did the other live show with a bunch of booktubers but i've never like done it myself so I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to try. I have my webcam here. I need to set this all up. Let's see what happens. And Suki is making a mess, so I need to go sort it out. And there's only 25 minutes to go live and I have a bunch of things to sort out. So I'll talk to you in a bit. Oh my God, look at me using a new scenario. Anyway, did you guys have a good day? Again, I sucked at vlogging. Let me tell you what happened today. I walked Suki in the morning and then... I had a nap because I was really tired, then I walked her again in the afternoon, then I had the live for Chapter Eyes, which was super cool, super cool, there was only four of us, but it was still cool because, you know, the more the merrier, but whoever is present is the ones who are necessary. There's a saying like that in Portuguese, but I don't think it translates to English, so this just got really awkward now. I prepared the Chapter Eyes books for April. Here they are, all wrapped up and ready to go. Let's get the challenge for tomorrow, shall we? My challenge for today is to read 10 minutes before bed, before sleeping, so I'm gonna get ready for bed now and do that. I've been reading quite a bit today as well, and I, hopefully I'll be able to read some more in bed, because I'm not really tired. Okay, let's get challenge for tomorrow. Let's do this one. Dun, 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 dun. Audiobook only. Alright, so apparently tomorrow I'll be doing no physical reading, just listening to the audiobook. I guess it could be worse. I think there's still challenges here saying no reading. Oh my god, I'm getting really nervous. So my plan at the moment is to read as much as I can every day that I can. So tomorrow I'll be able to because it's audiobook only. So my plan is just plant my bum in the sofa and listen to the audiobook the whole day. How many audiobooks will I be able to do that? I could do like a really long one. Like if I do like a 12 hour one because I read it at like a three times speed that's less than six hours, maybe like four hours something. For a 12 hour audiobook? Ooh. Four hours doesn't seem that long when you think about it. Four hours, just, yeah, it's like watching two movies. Oh my god, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens tomorrow. I don't want to jinx it, but today's going great. Oh, I haven't told you which book I started today. Hold on. I'm going to take you with me over here where hopefully the light is just better. So I told you the chances were today I was going to start anatomy of a scandal because it was a trailer and I wanted something fast-paced and blah, blah blah to keep me reading but that didn't happen I decided to simply start no specific reason why but I started Radio Silence by Alice Osment I don't know why I grabbed this like I was looking at the books I had in common and I was like you know what I'm gonna read Radio 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 Kill the Video Star Radio Kill the Video Star <laughs> 